Hey guys, it's Tyler from After The Run and welcome back for season two. Um, so I guess I should say this is 2.0 because this is a bit of a reset. Over the last few years, I documented my weight loss journey where I lost 100 pounds, 103 pounds over the course of a year. And then I shared some of the health and fitness and nutrition tips that I gleaned along the way. Now those episodes, uh, the reason the show is called After the Run is when I wanted to record an episode, I typically thought about it while I was out on my jogs. And when I got done, I had to audio record a podcast uh, as I was walking to come back home. So for my cool down, that's where I recorded uh, the things that I was learning about and the, the new inspiration that I got. Now, that was actually a really great format for me and it was a good way to get my ideas out. What we're doing with 2.0 is we're taking those original ideas and now I've had time to think about them, in some cases to change my mind on some of the suggestions I've given you, uh, and to look at the research, to look at other case studies and what other people are doing. And so 2.0 is taking those same main ideas, but giving them to you in a more professional, a more vetted way, uh, so that they're more useful to you. Now, I'm still gonna make mistakes. This is still a journey for me, and we're learning along the way. And that's the other part of the 2.0. Let me give you the backstory, okay? So first, um, 2018 is where my weight loss journey started. Um, I had uh, an intervention with my wife where she said she was really worried about me, and we cried together and then came up with a plan for how I could lose some weight. At the time, I was 306 pounds and 40% body fat. Um, I was really, really morbidly obese. And it was kind of a scary thing for her because I have four children and I'm you know, trying to provide for my family and it just wasn't a good situation. So we put together a plan for how to lose weight and for the first several months it didn't work. In fact, I gained a little bit of weight, but eventually I, I buckled down, I did the work, and the goal initially was to lose 42 pounds. Um, I lost that in the first couple months and so then I started thinking bigger and over the course of a year I ended up losing 103 pounds. And I went from 40% body fat down to 22, uh, which was pretty cool. Um, I felt better, I was more productive during that year. I took on a bunch of projects and it was like my best year ever and it was really cool. I went from not being able to run a mile without stopping and walking for a while to about 18 months later running a double marathon of 52.4 miles uh, and you know, not necessarily the best shape of my life but certainly the best shape of my adult life and so it felt really good to have more energy, to be sleeping better, to have some of my nagging foot issues uh, minimized, to, you know, all these things were, were improving in my life. And so that's why I created the, the podcast and the YouTube channels. I wanted to share all the things I was learning and the ways I was growing with a larger audience. Um, the second reason that I started it is I actually did weekly check-ins where I said what my goal was for the week and what my weight was and, and where I was going. Now, I never aired any of those videos. My weekly check-ins, I never ever shared with anyone. Um, but the thought was that I could share them and there'd be an accountability piece. Well, as I've done more research, I found that that accountability is really, really important. And so you're gonna see some of those check-ins in season two, uh, where I tell you how I'm doing and I divulge my numbers, I tell you, the highs and the lows, um, and I get as real with you as I can. So that's the plan for season two. Now you'll notice I'm not a spelt 200 pounds. What happened is after I lost 103 pounds, actually the next year I gained 15 pounds, but if you've listened to the show, you know that that was healthy weight. I put on 25 pounds of muscle and um, took my body fat percentage from 22 down to about 16%. Um, so in my second year of weight loss, I actually gained, but I got healthier. And so that was really great. I started lifting weights. Um, I started building this room that we're in now, which is my man cave. 
This is the office part of the room, but my gym's over here. I even have a bed over here. This is a fantastic room. So I was working on that and, and I was working out more. I was riding the bike. I was going on long runs uh, and things were going great. Then COVID hit, but then as things started to normalize again and we went back to school and we went hybrid and we started doing a bunch of other things, the stress just started getting to me and I started pulling on more things. I wanted to help my students and my kids, so I started Virtual School Assembly, which is a YouTube channel where I interviewed celebrities from Hollywood and professional athletes and Olympians. And we talked about how to be healthy during COVID, how to learn more during COVID. And it was really great. And I was helping a lot of kids. I, we did 150 episodes and I shot them all in about four months. So I was going crazy and just getting as much good content as I could uh, for my students. And then that production schedule rolled out over a year and a half and it was a lot of work. So I'm doing virtual school assembly. I'm doing things with my kids at home. We're doing home improvement projects. I'm working on a book and it just started to take its toll. And so as we got back in the classroom um, where I had actually less support than before COVID because all the aides were substitute teaching because people were quarantined and out. And so we were spread really thin. Um, it just really, really stressed me out. And so I was still exercising I was still eating relatively healthy, but my stress was at an all-time high. And eventually that gave way to some slippage with my diet and easing off on the exercise a little bit. Then my father-in-law passed away from COVID. My grandmother died. My brother-in-law passed away after battling with mental health issues for a long time. And 2021 was a really, really difficult year for me. Consequently, I put on some unhealthy weight. So. While I was up with the healthy weight and adding muscle in 2021, I gained some more weight, which brings you to where I am now. Uh, I'm not real pleased to tell you that my weight got all the way up to 270. So I started at about 310, I got down to about 200, and then at a healthy place, I was right around 220, and then I put on about 50 pounds of unhealthy weight. So here we are now at 2.0. 2.0, we're looking to take off that unhealthy weight that I've gained over the last year or so and to do it in a really smart way, taking advantage of version 1.0 and the, the episodes that I've already recorded. I wrote a book called Unlocking the Power of Transformation where I wrote down a lot of the things I did and I'm actually gonna refer to things that I wrote in that book during season 2.0. And so that's where we're starting from. So that is the plan for 2022 with season 2.0 of After the Run. Uh, I'm excited to have you along for the journey this time. Um, and let me just start, since this is week zero, to tell you where I'm starting at. Um, I, I did start at 270, now I'm, I'm actually a few days into it, so I've lost a little bit of weight already. Um, but I started at 270 pounds. Uh, my body fat percentage right now is 38%. And my goal over the course of the year is to lose 50 pounds or a pound a week, uh, which is a healthy amount. Of course, it's not gonna come in a pound a week. This first week, I expect to lose more than any other week. Um, but the goal is 50 pounds for the year and then to cut my body fat percentage in half, go from that 38, or not 38, I think it's 36, from 36% down to 18%. So that's the goal. That's where we're starting from. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to be back on this journey again. And if there is anything that you would like to learn about in particular, uh, in the past, um, some of my podcast episodes have come from suggestions from, from viewers and from listeners. So if you have those questions or comments, put those, you know, if you're watching the video, make comments um, and, and I read those and I respond to those. If you're listening to the podcast, you can always hop over to the blog and comment there on the blog. And, or you can email me and I'll put my contact information at the website aftertherun.com. Okay? So that's a lot for this first time. Um, thanks for being here and wish me luck. Bye.